Okay, Max Hazard, my first basketballer on the walk and talk. Appreciate it. Describe yourself in three words. <laughs> um, right out of the gate. Chill, hilarious, and uh, sweet, maybe. Okay. Fourth year with the basketball program now. How yeah. deep does a sport run in your roots and in your family? Pretty deep. Um, I guess my, my grandfather was an NBA player, mm -hmm. played under John Wooden at UCLA, first national championship, then went back to coach at UCLA. Um, my dad played at Stanford for a few years. My uncle was assistant coach of New York Knicks and the Lakers. Um, my grandma actually, I guess not so much basketball, but she was the first black cheerleader at UCLA. Oh, cool. no way. Yeah, so I, awesome. I had basketball in my roots. My brother played at Arizona mm -hmm. um, for four years, so I'm just trying to carry on tradition, you know. I would have loved to play football, but my mom wasn't having it. Yeah. <laughs> it was ultimately her call. Yeah, what always. You're gonna get into. Usually her call. You're kind of like that LA boy through and through, grew up watching yeah. Lakers win championships. Right. Kobe or LeBron? I gotta say Kobe. I love LeBron. I mean, he's one of the greatest of all time. I want to call him the GOAT, but now I'm seeing him play every night. I don't know if I could do it. So in 2018, it's still Kobe but maybe give a few years, you might consider changing your mind. I think I'm gonna die saying Kobe's the greatest Laker ever. Are you like number eight Kobe or like Oh, number eight, four? number oh, eight, okay. sure. Kobe's okay. the best player of all time. Okay. You're like the perfect crossroads of where sports meets entertainment. Because mm -hmm. outside of the gym, you dabble in the music world. Right? Yeah, for sure, sure. I've been DJing for about six years now, maybe. Okay. So yeah, I love music, my uncle, is a big music producer. Mm -hmm. um, so he kind of put me on the whole music scene and I kind of fall in love with it. Do yeah. you ever pick up like gigs outside of? Yeah, I've, uh, I've been DJing in LA, in LA for a while now. Mm -hmm. um, some spots out here in Newport. I've done a few weddings. Mm -hmm. I did a bunch of school dances when I was a senior in high school, so. Is it fair of me to ask which you prefer? Basketball or music? Um, yeah, that's not really fair of you to ask. <laughs> It's not fair. Okay. <laughs> we'll let the future just take its yeah. course and see where you end up. Well, we always see in your gym clothes, but when you're traveling, when you're on the road, what are you packing in your bag? Um, definitely a change of clothes, of nice clothes at <laughs> least. Good start. <laughs> you never know what's, what's going to happen or where you're going to end up. But like, what's the vibe? What's the what's, what's the, the street vibe? style like? Wow. Because you're always showing up and you're used to your van gear, but. Yeah. Um, like maybe your Instagram tells us a different story. Yeah, no, my Instagram <laughs> tells a different story. Yeah, yeah street style. I just kind of want to wear some chill for the most part. Mm -hmm. Never want to look like I'm trying too hard. If you're gonna plan your whole outfit, where does mm -hmm. it start? Like I'm, it's like the shoes for me. Wow. I work, wow. I work my way up. Yeah. I respect that. Earrings is big as well. Earrings oh. is huge. Yeah. Earrings. Hmm. I haven't considered that. Now you're yeah, I got I got my little hoops on today. How long have they been pierced? Um, my freshman year in college. My parents weren't happy, but I had to get it done. A few months later, my mom bought me my first nice pair of earrings, so I think she's over it. There you go. Yeah. Mom always comes around. Always looking out. So you're super dialed into music, the artists you're listening to on your way to campus mm -hmm. this morning. I think I was playing Drake, maybe. You it's always him? Drake. You ever heard him? Yeah. What's the song? This of morning. The week? Uh, th of the week, wow. I think it's Drake, Feel No Ways. Okay. I don't want to know if that's a throwback. It's only like been two years or so, but I think it's one of his more underrated songs for sure. Hey, sometimes you just stumble on the old ones and those right. are the best ones. That's what I was doing. You guys came out the heartbreaking loss last season. Talk about what you're expecting for your team and for yourself really this upcoming season. Hopefully to get back to where we got last year. You know, we were in a position to win two championships. Yeah. Um, it fell short for both. But I mean, we can get back there, I, I kind of like our chances. And uh, individually, I'm just happy to be a part of something bigger than myself, you know. Really happy to be here, happy to be healthy again. So I know what I bring to the table and how good of a player I can be when I'm focused. So that's really just the goal to come in and focus every night and do what I can. And you guys were still young, like for you personally too, right? Mm -hmm. So now you're that upperclassman, if you will, like more of a yeah. veteran leader on the team. Like what are you just trying to show the younger guys and and really like help build that legacy for you, your fan. Yeah, I mean, it's weird. I remember walking through Mesa a few years ago, you know? Yeah. And uh, it's just weird to kind of look at myself as a senior, or I guess a junior, yeah. and an upperclassman. I remember what it was like being this young. So just kind of looking out for the young guys and the new guys, trying to help them through it, because I've been through it. It is funny, like you mentioned, we're just walking through the dorms right now. Mm -hmm. So reflecting back, how do you think you've evolved just as a player, but more so as a person? 
I think I've evolved a lot. Uh, I mean, I think I came in kind of well beyond my years, I think. <laughs> or I hope, but. We'll ask Coach. Yeah, we'll yeah. We'll double check with Turner on that. I, I definitely feel like an old head. Uh, I've learned a lot on and off the court. Yeah. Um, actually, my freshman year, my roommate and I, we actually had to share a single. So we became kind of close. It's literally. Bonding and, right and there. Figurative. Yeah, you know, for sure. And uh, I remember eating at the, the dining hall. Yeah. And now I still look at myself kind of eating out every night or having to cook. So it's a little different. Growing up. Yeah, for sure. Okay, Max Hazard. Game one is in the books for you guys. Yeah. Get back to it. You're going on the road to A&M now. Let's get it. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming me. on. Yeah, appreciate it.